Hello everybody. Vlad Mafteu Sky, sorry if I pronounce this wrong, pointed me to a YouTube video and asked how I would model such a motorcycle tire in Modo. So let's do that. I shift click on this symbol here, then select an etching here, Alt C, with a count of 19. So we match uh, the grid and do the same here and then I want to see the grid and now we can uh, press F11, snap to grid and then shift C and cut through here and shift click cut through here shift click through here and one more time through here like so now i control rotate this 45 degrees go to polygon mode select the middle polygons invert the selection and delete now we probably have some funny uh, dimensions. Yes, I make it 200 by 200 and explicit scale. And now we can A key, control copy, control V, W, move it over by 200 millimeters and then go to vertex merge automatic okay now i can uh, center this and remove this middle edges here backspace delete okay now i want to draw in the profile of uh, a tire and for that i start here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this one out here. And then do the same here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. These are going to be the profiles of the tire. So I paint select all these M, uh, press the M key and give them a material, call it one and make it slightly a different color, like so. Okay, now um, now. I think it is a good time to get rid of all these triangles here. So I select this edge here and these edges, Z key and uh, R key and pull them out like about so. Then paint select these here and M again and I give them the default material but with also the default color like so. Okay, <clears throat> now we can just uh, select these edges Alt C with the count of 1 click in here and all the triangles are converted to quads. I forgot something. We make some more profiles here. M again, default again. Then I can press the 4 key, select these Alt 3, B for bevel, Bevel them in a little, like so. 
and now we can delete what we don't need which is this here like so delete and here uh, we need these delete and now we can delete the rest out here okay now I want to clone this so duplicate clone 23 clones and I clone it from here so control see like so drop the tool and now I can um, vertex merge automatic will not work fixed 509 yeah probably right we will see if something is missing no that's good now I uh, F11 and snap to vertex, then deform bend and I select this vertex here and then bring the handle to here and snap it to this vertex and then we can say we want to bend in the Z direction by 360 degrees drop the tool and if we look at it from the top here it looks all right but unfortunately it is not good and that's the reason why I did this bend first usually I would have bent in the X direction first but we can do this later so I show you what I mean I don't know why this happened. Usually Modo uh, does the bend very well, but here obviously for whatever reason it didn't work properly. So we must fix this first before we can continue. So I go to this empty mesh here, then front view. Ah, but first I need to center select it all now we can go to this other mesh and then I bring out a cylinder control left click from here this must be zero and then I can use these handles and snap to my background like so drop the tool let's see we delete this I make it a little bit wider like so and I don't need the geometry snap then select an edge in here Alt C count of one then press the D key once twice three times once more four times now I go to the plane and press the R key, make this smaller, 85%. Then constraint to background and make this 222. Two, two. And then we don't need the background constraint nor the mesh. And let's see how we did. This looks not so bad so I can uh, merge these let's see on the other side mm. I think I 
I think I start here. This one to here. This one to here. Now we have a little dent in here, but this can easily be fixed. L key and run Seneca Menars perfect circle. Takes a little while. But now it is perfect again. Okay, let's see the other side. Here. I select these edges and then vertex merge fixed one millimeter and everything else has merged and this looks good now. Okay, next we need to make uh, the bend around the x axis. And of course, this does not work with a bend anymore, but it works with a fall off. I use a linear fall off with the symmetric at the end and ease in and bring it down to about here. Then make this all zero and zero here and zero here. And then we must. Press the R key and enlarge it in the Y and X dimension. And we still have, and now you can, depending on what, what uh, silhouette you want to have. I make this 115 by 115. You can play around with these two values and of course also with uh, the fall off till you till you get a fat tired tire if you want or more something roundish like this. I make something in the middle like so. Okay, with uh, drop the tool, with the fall off still enabled, I go out of sub D, select, press the four key, Alt three, and now when we have a fall off here, you see we can make sure that uh, the profile on the outside is a bit smaller than in the middle. Depends on your liking, but usually on motorcycle tires this is the case. I leave it as it is and then go to perspective, press the B key, click in here and on the blue handle bring it out like 20 millimeters, something like this. Yes, okay, 20. So we do two first, then shift click in here, then 16, then shift click again, and another two, and drop the tool, and basically our tire is finished and it looks not so bad. But now I want to uh, make a, a little rim. If you want to make a real rim, I have another tutorial how to make a spoke rim. I just will do the outer part. So Z key, right click to activate the tool, R key, and on the blue circle, bring this in a little, like so, and then we can bridge it. Then uh, I select, you see, yes. Uh, 
then what types of polygons do we have? We have a, a little problem here. Some are faces and others are not. So I convert these and now we should be all faces, like so. Good. Now I put in all C count of five uniform edges. Actually, I don't need the middle one. Backspace delete. Then select two polys in here, L key. Then R key again. And on the blue circle, bring this in. Not so much, like so. Then we can uh, select an edge in here, one, another one here, two, two, one, two, L key, B for bevel, and with the square shape I bevel this in a little, like so, drop the two, shift tab and now I can hmm, L key shift up arrow till about here one more M key call this um, rim H to height M key again call this tire, U for unheight, then we can go to the render tab and for the tire I use black plastic, make a nice view, like so, and for the rim I use polished silver and then get the studio environment, this one, make the render window bigger, 888, control enter and go up with the render level to 6 and render it. And here we are. This is a motorcycle tire and I think it wasn't uh, very difficult to do. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful and you liked it. Uh, take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye-bye.